get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And joining us a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And for the home team... Number 14, nice shot from the wing. We always like to get that first lead of the game. Yeah, you know, Steve, a good way to set the tone early on there. From deep three-point range, from beyond the arc, and then some. Now Graham. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hey, Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with the visiting team's head coach. Getting out in the open floor and exploiting his team's speed is an area of concentration for him. He said that as soon as we get a rebound, we want to get it to our guards, get off to the races, and we want this basically to come down to a track meet. Sounds like we should be in for a wild ride, guys. And thank you for that, Doris. Number four. Passes it to Graham. Lots of room. That's good on the jump shot. The mid-range jumper becomes a pretty high percentage shot for him when he has that kind of space. And so just over a minute and a half played. It's off his foot. And it's whistled a kick. to Bridges, fires the three, and that one's good. Bridges has got his first three points of the game. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jump. Gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Here in the first quarter with about two minutes gone by. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Four straight makes out of the gate. That's a sweet start. Gone two or three here to start out the game. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. There's a minute 47 left to play here in the first. And they're going to count the bucket and send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Well, his body control is what I noticed. I think that jumps off the page when you watch him play, even with a defender draped all over him. He's able to find a way to get to the rim and get the shot to go in. And every team needs a player like him, a guy who contributes each and every night by doing just the little things and doing them well. He's getting on the floor for loose balls. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a blowout, on. Kevin, or even a exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look how frustrated Steve is over there. Well, I just, you know what, oh, Kevin? Disgusting. 
Come on, Kel. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up. I mean, he threw it down with force. The shooting percentage is really solid so far, fellas. Good start to this game for him. Number 10. Buries it from three-point range. Five points in the game. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Now about three minutes gone in the first quarter. Pass to Samuel. With the lead pass. No good with the wing jumper. Well, the shot was there for him, and he had to take it. I don't care if he didn't convert. He's got to take that every time. And they're running. Number two. And he lays that one in. So deflating for a team by coughing up the ball at one end and then it turns into immediate points at the other end. And it's just as much of a boost for the team getting those easy points off the steal. A finger roll finish at the bucket. Drop that one in as soft as a feather using the finger roll. Gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. The pass to D. Let's the three fly. Count that one. D's got himself on the board with three there. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist number. And theirs are fantastic. It's just beautiful basketball to watch, Bart. Knocked away. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. touch off the glass seven points in the game I don't know who was supposed to be on him there but clearly a mistake by the defense there's the triple shot no good and that concludes a back and forth high scoring first quarter of play the away team they're up by two and we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? And it's really been a dominant effort on the glass. That's been the key here. Yeah, they've established nice low post presence, which always tends to help you on the rebounding battle. Gone three or four from long range in the game. And Doris Burke has some for us. Hey, Doris. Gentlemen, Jamal Crawford's patented shake-and-bake crossover, one of the flashiest moves in the league. A behind-the-back crossover followed by a hop step the other direction. He said it was created out of fear. At 16 years old, in the Seattle Pro-Am League, he'd been locked up by an older player, held to only two points. He faced him again in the Pro-Am All-Star Game, unleashed the move impromptu, and it worked so well, he decided he had to master it. Guys, it's been one of his calling cards ever since. That's right, Doris. Thanks. He definitely keeps defenses on their toes. Kennedy passes to Samuels. Number 24. Nailed from three-point land. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Down low. Dishes it to Samuels. Number 21. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Number three. On the mark with the 15-footer. 
Well, he's got that quick trigger, a very quick trigger on a shot, and it doesn't hesitate to pull up as soon as he gets his hands on the ball. He's a very aggressive player. Well, defensive pressure is always going to be at its weakest in that instant when the pass gets there, so having a good feel for the catch and shoot serves him well. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the arc. Well, it feels like they're finding the holes in this defense. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. They get a hand on it. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Six points for him. On a terrific five of six from beyond the arc in this game. There's the feed to Samuels. Second quarter of play with the round two, and it's gone so far. Gets it to go. Sometimes folks forget about his decent mid-range jumper. He can knock those down all game given a chance. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. Ball stolen. Two on one as they jump out on the break. Number four. The fast break ends at the rim with the jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. But this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D, it was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Number 35. Can't connect from short range. Got both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. And it's good. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Addition out to Garrett. Number 44, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. He's got eight. Well, it looks like he's finally found his footing in this game. Uh, his first quarter was uh, a real struggle, but he's gotten it going now. Deflects the pass. And so out of bounds it goes. And they'll keep possession. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Hit his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. Two seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Gets it to go. Rams got six points. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. We've got 28 seconds left in the first half of the game. Pass to Bridges. Here's the three. Gets it to go. And that assist earns him a nod from his teammate after the basket. Down 5 7 from the field here in the second. Graham with the ball. He has six. Number 10. And the ball goes out of play following the shot.
Five seconds left in the first half. Here's Booth. Oh, and he just knocked down the buzzer beater. And that is simply a dagger on the way to the locker room. That three-pointer feels like a six-pointer coming when it did right at the end of the half. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The home team up eight. Folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. And now, brought to you by Sprint. I hope your weekend's off to a great start this Saturday night. Thanks so much for tuning in. At the midway point, the home team is playing very well. Offensively, they've been in a zone. A lot of great team play, providing looks from all over the floor. D playing well in the first half. Everything's finding its way through the rim, and he's been filling it up early. And the visitors still keeping at it. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. And the second half about to start here in just a few moments. Gotten all but one of the three-pointers to go down in this game. They've gone seven of eight so far. Eleven feet away. Green for two points. He's got 12. Boy, they are just destroying it in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Number 44 takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Cutting into that lead a little bit. Way to finish. And the basket is still shaking. Oh, man, he's got so much power. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. Being a mind-boggling 79 percent off the floor. Number 14. Wide open shot is on the money. You know, it's really hard not to notice the difference in the passing of these two teams today. Yeah, look at the discrepancy in this the assist column between these two teams. Here's Grant. He has six. Number 35. That's good. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. To the inside. Number four. Yeah, he definitely saw some things that were not working for them out there. And now he's going to make some adjustments. I'm not sure what it was, but he clearly wanted something to change out there. Over a minute gone here in the second half. And here is Graham. Just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Well, their plan of attack has been pretty clear to see. Get the ball inside and just take it strong to the hoop. Be dominant in the lane. Well, the defense has been very slow to adjust. I mean, that's 10 straight points now inside.
Got no, but one of the three pointers to go down in this game. They've gone seven of eight so far. Pass to Bridges. On deep. And it goes out of bounds following the shot. Gone three of three from the field since halftime. Guy is a potent offense right now. Yeah, Kevin, really the offense is flowing quite nicely right now. Playing with a lot of confidence, just with some self-assurance. I, I like what we're seeing. The paint. And it is just down with a nice jam. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. 153 left to play here in the third. There's the pick. He dishes it to Graham. Number 14. Smooth as silk on the finger roll. He's got six. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Number four. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. A large part of what they've been able to do here is centered around his offense. Here's Graham. Eight points for him. Just five on the clock. Number 14. No good. Nice D from Bridges. Gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Brunson. Graham defending. Here's Booth. It's good from about 19 feet. He's got eight. 36. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Feeds it to Graham. Off with the layup. Yeah, he's surprised he didn't make that one because he had a pretty clean look at the hoop. Number 35. Oh, yes. oh, oh. What's out now? Oh. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, now's when they need a little spark anyway. Pass to Bridges. Here's Brunson. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Great show for the fans through the first three quarters. All right, we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good.
bring an almost unfair 78% from the field. Here's Graham. The shot from the low post is good. Well, I don't think you're going to miss too many like those. Gone 7-9 on three-pointers tonight. Outstanding mark from long range. Number four. Can't get it to fall. You see the defenders get out of his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the bucket, but not that time. Number 10. Gets the jumper from the corner to fall. And this game is really heated up. I didn't think it could get any more high scoring than it already was. Well, there's always room for more offense, Steve. You know that. Come get it. Come get it. Ball, ball. Number two. Good on the triple. You know, even though he doesn't really have the long-range ability uh, on a consistent level, he can knock down some open ones. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, Kevin. The head coach for the visiting team had some instruction for his guys during that last break. He told them it's time to fight and take the lead. Let's put ourselves in position to bring it home. Guys, we'll see if they've got what it takes to get it done. There's a good screen. Number 10. Can't capitalize on the good pick. No easy look there, but, you know, he misses those once in a while. Tries from 10. That one on 10 off line to the right, but drops in for him. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the charts. him down and that goes out of bounds they'll keep possession here's Garrett poke loose number 10 defended by Samuels five to shoot the finger roll finish at the bucket you know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Inside. And there's the second time to finish it off. He is one guy you do not stand in the way of when he decides to attack the rim. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. And that one ends up out of bounds. No keep possession. On defense, the home team. They play by as much as 10. Knocks it loose. Here's the break. Pushing it up. Here's Booth, finished off the break. Now that is a quick bucket, pretty good in transition. That's right, that's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. One thirty left in the game. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here.
And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. And the second of two is good. That narrows the gap to seven. Not nearly as productive a trip to the line as he'd have liked. They need all their free throws to go down at this point. And it's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. He kicks to Samuels. 16 feet away. Gets it to go. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's three straight buckets that have come off of assists. Stolen. Here's Brunson. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. Everything's falling now, and this lead continues to increase. Yeah, it's just way too hard to keep up with a scoring pace like this. I mean, and that's why the defense is having a tough time. Number 10. A three-pointer off the mark. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Here's Booth. Connects from three-point range. They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Number 10, and he banks in the layup. Good job there, recognizing the mismatch and then just going straight up with the shot. He's got a major height advantage. Clark, they're in good position here to ride it out. Yeah, they certainly are. I mean, if they just play smart right here, Kevin, this game's pretty much over. Yeah, he absorbed the foul and had a chance to knock it down. That's all you can ask right there. I like that play. First one falls. And he makes both free throws. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. To the middle, number 22. That misses off the backboard. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Kicks to Samuels. He passes it to D. Here's Dell. Misses the chippy right there. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the team for this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And now for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Holland thanking you for joining us tonight in our presentation of NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game.